assalamu alaikum respected viewers you are watching youtube channel evergreen knowledge and uh, <clears throat> i am dr avid nawaz respected viewers today let us know about some rules about reading the oxford dictionary so first of all key to dictionary entries so finding the words how we can find a word in the dictionary information in the dictionary is given in entries arranged in alphabetical order of head words compound words are in separate entries also arranged alphabetically for example <clears throat> head words are book binder book case and book club so book binder is a noun a person whose job is uh, fastening the pages of books together and putting covers on them book binding is noun and the second word is bookcase it's a noun a piece of uh, furniture with shelves for keeping books on and the third word is book club it's also a noun and uh, its first meaning is an organization that sells books cheaply to its members and the second meaning of this is a book group so these three words are under the same head word and it's the entry of these three words respected viewers some head words can have more than one part of speech so squ squares show where the information on each part of speech begins for example blindfold blindfold it's a uh, uh noun verb adjective and adverb as well so head word and all possible parts of speech like this noun something that is uh, put over somebody's eyes so they cannot see okay when we use the blindfold as a noun and when we use this word as a verb so example of this is to cover somebody's eyes with a piece of cloth or other covering so that they can't see the hostages for example the example uh, we can see with the help of uh, a sentence the hostages were uh, tied up and blindfolded next it is used as adjective or adverb for example <clears throat> british english also blindfolded british english noun american english with these eyes sorry with the eyes covered the reporter was taken blindfold to a secret location this is the example of uh, this word with the help of a sentence i knew the way home blindfold because it was so familiar and next i could do that blindfold it means that i can do very easily with no problems respected viewers there are some words in english uh, that have the same spelling as each other but different pronunciations now let us 
see the example of uh, this one. The small homonyms number shows that this is the first of two head words spelled Jill, G I L L, Jill. So, Jill is a noun usually used as a plural. One of the openings on the side of a face head that it breathes through. Okay, this is the meaning of the Jill. And we can see uh, a picture to clear the concept. And uh, next, it is also used as uh, uh, an idiom, for example, to the jilf, it's uh, informal use, completely full, it means completely full. I was stuffed to the jilf with chocolate cake. So this is the example of this uh, word. Different pronunciation is given at each head word. For example, same word, G I W L, same spellings, but the pronunciation is different. So here is the diff uh, pronunciation is uh, Jill. Sorry, in the previous uh, one, the pronunciation is Gil. Okay, that is Gil. And here is Jill. Jill. Noun, uh, it's a noun and a unit for uh, admiring liquids. There are four gills in a paint. There are four gills in a paint. So, respected viewers, there are also some words in English that have more than one possible spelling and both spellings are acceptable. Information about these, wo information about these words is given at the most frequent spelling. So, so now let us see the variant spelling is given in brackets. For example, <clears throat> banister, B-A-N-I-S-T-E-R, banister. Also banister, it's a noun, British English. Also banister, it's used as plural. The post and uh, a rail which you can hold for support when going up or down stairs to hold on to the uh, banister or banisters. So, this is a <coughs> uh, word with the variant spelling. At the entry for the less frequent spelling, a cross uh, reference di directs you to the main entry. Banister uh, with the <coughs> small alphabets B A N I S T E R is equal to banister with the capital letters B A N I S T E R. All letters are uh, capital. American English forms and irregular forms of verbs are treated in the same way. Respected viewers, some <coughs> words that are Derivatives of other words do not uh, have their own entry in the dictionary because they can be easily understood from the meanings of uh, the word from which they are derived, uh, which are called as root words. They are given in the same entry as the root word in a specially marked section. So, <clears throat> At the end, the blue triangle shows where the derivative section starts in the uh, dictionary. For example, belated. Belated is a, belated is a word. It's uh, used an adjective. And uh, for example, coming or happening late. It's the meaning of this word. Coming or happening late. A belated birthday present. So this is uh, an example of this word, belated, belatedly, it is the adverb. So <clears throat> uh, these are the some uh, 
keys to <coughs> dictionary entries. So uh, any student or any reader of uh, English uh, dictionary must know these keys so that uh, he can find the words and uh, he can read the uh, dictionary very well. So respected viewers, now let me wind up my lecture uh, over here. So inshallah, if uh, uh, life permits, I'll be with you with the new video and I hope that uh, this video will be liked by you and uh, you will uh, subscribe, like and share my channel. So let me leave till the next video. So take care of yourself uh, as well as of your beloveds. May Allah bless us all. Allah Hafiz.